it is about that time once again power rankings are back on the channel obviously rolling in to the london home series this weekend there's a ton on the line for a lot of these teams in the cod league and we're gonna be talking about it all today there are some really really interesting teams top to bottom you know with eight of them facing off this weekend and the rest of the teams facing off in the toronto series next weekend it's really a marathon here going into the end of the season going into champs with a ton on the line so without further ado let's get right into it let's go so real quick i want to show you guys the odds for this weekend it's an interesting one and i want to thank the sponsor midnight for supporting myself and the channel midnight is an esports betting website and allows you to level up your esports betting they make esports betting really really easy with a ton of different types of bets and odds that you can customize yourself they've got a deal going on right now where if you bet 25 you get five free and then of course use code salvation to support myself and the channel as well i really do appreciate that but let's check out the odds real quick so at the first glance if i gotta put some money on an underdog i i honestly might put my money on optic gaming to take down the mutineers obviously with that new roster of hollow and draza and the switch ups that they've made it definitely is interesting to bet on the unknown and take that optic gaming risk against the mutineers one of the favorites of the tournament if i had to put my money on a favorite honestly i think i mean the dallas empire seems like a, just a gimme you're not going to make a ton of cash because the odds are obviously pretty heavily weighted towards dallas but at the same time it might be a free few dollars in your pocket because let's be honest Dallas is not losing to Paris. So tweet at me with some bets that you guys are making, and I'll be interested to see what you guys are putting down and where your thoughts are with that. So again, go check out Midnight. The link is down in the description to support them, and then use code SALVATION to support myself and support the channel. I really, really do appreciate that, and uh, I think it's a lot of fun. So here we go. This is the power ranking template we're using today. We've, we've got it split up into four tiers to give us a pretty good example of you know where teams are at compared to other teams. And the farther right that you are in this tier list, the better you are as a team, the farther left, the worse you are. And we're gonna, you know, the space and how we separate these teams is kind of equivalent to how much space is actually between them in talent. That's why I really like doing this instead of like a one to 10 ranking. Cause you get a better idea of the spacing of where teams are at and how good each team is. Alrighty, so let's start with the Minnesota Rocker. Let's just start on the left here. They're a really, really sad, sad case, man. They've been so good at the beginning of the year on LAN. It's really hard to tell why they're struggling now if it's the meta that teams are catching up to them, that they were really ahead of the meta at the beginning of the game. Or if it's because, you know, the move to online has affected them more than other teams when it comes to connection and how those gunfights play out. It is hard to say. But right now the rocker are probably in tier three i mean they're you know we can't switch things around here as we get more teams populated onto the list here but they're probably in the tier three right now a little bit more near the front now we got lag a little purple theme here at the beginning let's be honest they're a tier four team right now i'm not exactly sure where they're gonna fall out in the tier four yet we'll have to get a few more teams in here but but they showed some hope a few weeks ago after adding saints back to the lineup really their whole squad looked great in s d they were led by vivid and the respawns like decimate and blast were really going off and slaying well in this new york home series they did not play well it was ugly to say the least and they lost to paris as well so uh you can't put them higher than four right now atlanta phase obviously their tier one team we'll just slot them in the middle right now again once we get to some of these other tier one teams we'll be able to have a better idea of where they're at but I, they obviously they struggled against the Huntsman. They got 3 0 by the Huntsman. And no one was really expecting that. The Huntsman came to play phase, just did not look ready for what the Huntsman were trying to do. And they got just big time smoke. It was really, really surprising. I would imagine they're going to bounce back. But we talked about it a little bit on the podcast. I'm just not that confident in how fundamentally they play Call of Duty. Obviously, they're insanely individually talented and a really good team. It's still a tier one team because of their individual talent. But they need to go back to the drawing board and work on some of the basics of this game and then they should be absolutely insane. The Toronto Ultra, man, it's like, they're always just so close. They're right there to be a competitive team, and they fall just short. They beat FaZe as well in the last tournament, and uh, it's just really, really interesting to see where they are as a team. They're right in the middle between probably three and two. I'm gonna leave them right there for now, and then we'll, we'll organize it a little bit as we keep going here. But they've really proven, even with all their roster changes, you know, with Classic and Metals and Kleenex and everybody else has been in and out of that lineup that they can be a threat to any of the best teams in the league and they have to take them incredibly seriously every time they face off the mutineers one of the most interesting stories of this whole season when it comes to their saga starting off with pristini and mox in the lineup benching pristini then benching mox bringing in pharaoh and awakening they are now nasty they've leveled up they are an insane team they're definitely near the front of tier one they are absolutely insane and i'm sure we'll talk about them more in a second so optic gaming is really really interesting with their new roster it's hard to say 
exactly where they were. They haven't looked fantastic in scrims, although accuracy was hyping them up as if they're infinitely better now, but it is hard to say. I'm gonna throw them right here in the middle, right with Toronto right now, and we'll store them a little bit more in a second. Dallas Empire. So the, this is a tough debate, because you're like, all right, are they better than FaZe? It's hard to say that they are, but at the same time, if the Huntsman have beat FaZe and Dallas has looked pretty good lately, because of the new meta where we haven't seen Dallas play, you know, obviously Dallas didn't play on this old, the old new meta, now we've got the 10 millimeter ammo back. So there's a lot of different factors here after the nerfs. I know they lost a FaZe 3-2, in the semifinals in the Paris event a few weeks ago, but I'm gonna put them just slightly ahead of Atlanta phase right now, even though in their most recent matchup, Dallas did fall just short. The Seattle Surge can be a tough one. Obviously, you've gotta throw them somewhere down the backside of this tier ranking. The struggle is real for Seattle, it's been real all year. I mean, who's worse, LAG or Seattle? That's a tough, that's a tough one, man. I mean, I would love to see that matchup again here. The last time we saw Seattle, they went game five against FaZe and against The Rocker. I mean, LAG took a map off FaZe last event as well. I'm gonna put F S Seattle just slightly ahead of LAG. I feel like it's about right. Next, we got London, and they're, again, one of the most interesting teams in the COD League because they just cannot get over that hump and beat the elite tier one teams. They're definitely inside of tier two. At the Paris event, they lost to Dallas twice. And then at New York, they lost to the Huntsman. Then they beat the Rocker 3-2, and then they lost to New York. So they just are not beating some of these tier one teams. They're probably like right in the middle of tier two right now. It's just one of the solid teams in the COD League. So let's sort out some of tier two here. I think you've got to put Toronto higher than Optic Gaming. The last time they played, Toronto won, and Toronto beat FaZe and then made the semifinals in the New York tournament. So you gotta put them at least in the middle of tier two here. And then the debate is whether or not Optic's a tier two or a tier three team with the Rocker. I'm gonna move Optic down to tier three, just slightly ahead of the Rocker. I mean, it's been weird because they, they haven't played since like May. The last time they played, Optic 3-0'd them after the Rocker beat them 3-2 in the Seattle home series. So it's been a hot minute and Rocker's basically just been getting eliminated by tier one and tier two teams over and over and over. They lost to Seattle when Alex was injured and not playing. So when they've had their full roster, they've at least been a competent, solid, competitive team. And so both Optic and The Rocker are both at the far front of tier three. Then we've got the Chicago Huntsman. This is where things get a little juicy here. It's hard to say where they are as a team right now. Of course, at the last event, they beat London 3-1. Then they beat the Subliners 3-2. Then they beat Phase 3-0. And then they just out of nowhere got 3-0'd smoked by New York because they freaking played like the exact same map set. So it is kind of weird and hard to say. Again, the rematches are always a little fluky in how they feel because of the maps and how that goes down in, in one given weekend. But I'm gonna put the Huntsman just slightly ahead of the Empire and the Empire are slightly ahead of FaZe. So that actually puts FaZe near the back of tier one and the Empire right there. We got two more teams to talk about real quick and New York is one of them. But we got Paris and it's hard to say, you know, who the worst team in the league is right now. I mean, they just beat LAG. So maybe you have to say that LAG is the worst team in the league and do something like that. And kind of move them in there and slot them like that, I guess. I don't feel great about that. That's probably the, the only way to go about it right now. Paris showed so much potential at the beginning of the year on LAN. They looked pretty good, but it seems like they just kind of figured out the meta, the best meta, a little bit earlier than a lot of the other teams did with running some two ARs on certain maps and how they use those ARs to play inside the hill and things along those lines. Then once the meta caught up to them, they really haven't shown any sign of upside like whatsoever. Beating the LA Gorillas ended a really long losing streak for Paris. So I guess I'll put them ahead of LAG because they just beat them. But I'm not even sure if I actually believe that at the end of the day. Last but certainly not least, this is the champions of the New York home series, the New York Subliners. Again, they did handily beat the Huntsman 3-0 in the grand finals. The question is, do you truly at the end of the day believe that the Huntsmen are worse than the Subliners? Are the Empire worse than the Subliners? Is FaZe worse than the Subliners? And that is really, really, really hard to justify considering the last time that New York played FaZe, they lost to them 3-2. Then New York got eliminated by the Mutineers in the semifinals. And then FaZe beat Dallas and then Florida beat FaZe. And so it, it really is a mess at the top in tier one right here. And that's why they're all so close and bunched together here. I know the subliners just beat the Huntsman, but again, they played all the exact same maps over and over and over. I'm gonna be the subliners just the slightest, like, 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 it's like that. All right, guys, the slightest behind the Huntsman because in the first best of five series, the Huntsman did beat them 
And then for some reason, they elected to play all the exact same maps over again, which was really, really dumb. But I don't know how much you want to hold that against them. I'm sure some people would say, are you insane? They literally just beat them 3-0. But at the same time, the Huntsman did just beat them in a best of five. And we're going back to the 10 millimeter ammo meta. So we'll do something like that. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Right here is basically exactly how I feel about it. I kind of did a little bit more spacing with how these teams are split apart. And there it is. We've got Florida at one, Chicago at two, Subliners at three, Empire at four, FaZe, Royal Ravens, Ultra, Optic, Rocker, Seattle, Paris, LAG. There's a list right there, all in their little tiers and everything else. We got five teams in tier one right now, which is why I think the COD League is insanely interesting because literally anyone could win right now. Obviously, you could make an argument that maybe the Mutineers are in their own tier because they've been so dominant the past two events they've played at, which, you know, is fair. And I'd be totally down for someone to argue that. But at the end of the day, this is where I'm at with it. And I am very, very excited to see what happens these upcoming two weeks. We won't be doing another power ranking until after Toronto next weekend. So uh, there's a lot that can change in the upcoming two weeks. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, like, comment, favorite, subscribe. I really do appreciate all that support. Obviously, you guys know that. You know the whole spiel. But it does mean a lot to me trying to do this full time. And I cannot do that without you guys. So I really do appreciate it. But as always, guys, I'm your boy, Salvation Lee. And we will see you next time. I'm out.